What's up guys, Everyday FBA coming at you with some Amazon pricing news, guys. Just yesterday, Amazon announced that they are going to be allowing free shipping on pretty much everything. Before yesterday, Amazon allowed non-Prime members to take advantage of free shipping once they got to that $25 mark, which is why a lot of us based our pricing strategy on that $25 price point. If you don't know what the pricing strategy is for $25, don't worry, I'll link that video up right here. You can go and check it out. So Amazon is saying that for a limited time, my guess is throughout the holiday selling season, they're gonna offer non-Prime members free shipping on anything they buy no matter what the amount. This is a good sign that Amazon is gearing up for the holiday season and also a sign of pure competition between Walmart. Walmart runs ads all the time saying, you know, they'll give you free shipping and they don't even charge you membership fees. That's a direct attack on Amazon and this is Amazon's response to open up that free shipping. So what does this mean for you and your business and your pricing strategy? There's two options, two ways to view this whole Amazon news. And number one is to do nothing. Keep your prices exactly where they are. If you have some books priced at the $25 mark, you should have priced them strategically following the $25 rule, which means there's not offers on that book for $10, $12, or $15. Offers on that book are like $21, $22. You're coming in at $25, just a little bit higher to capture that free shipping audience. Now, if that's the case, if that's how you have priced, then you could very well do nothing and wait for your turn to sell. The only other option you have is to react. So go ahead, go in, find those books in your inventory that are priced $25 and go ahead and match or compete with the lower offers. Especially look at your higher ranked items, items with lower e-scores, items without that much demand. These are the items that you really want to look at to see if you need to lower that $25 price point. Definitely do not go in there and just lower all of your prices down to the lowest FBA offer. Do it strategically. Overall, guys, you should take this as good news because if you just have one item that the customer wants and it's priced at $15 or $20 or $24.99, you don't have to worry about it. They can get exactly what they want. If they just want that one thing, they can order it and they can get free shipping on it. So this has the potential to stir up more sales, which is exactly what Amazon wants. More sales. So take a look at your pricing, go back into your inventory, look at those items that you have priced $25 and decide for yourself whether it still makes sense to have that price point. This has been a quick Amazon news update. Go check your pricing guys and I'll catch you on the next video.